I don't even know what to say at this point. But that's a nine legendary dime potential lynx. I had a lot of fun hunting for lynx yesterday. I really did. But at the same time, this 223 is pretty weak on the lynx. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using the Mosin Nagant. So RIP 223 and hello to the Mosin Nagant. And some 7.6 by 54R soft point bullets will do the trick. Well, we got eyes on a couple links out here. There's actually two female, one right there and one right there. And to get started, I want to test out the Mosin Nagant. About 240 out on this one. And it seemed to work pretty good because she's down. And here she is. Ended up with a left long shot at 248 yards. And it does, in fact, look like you can use the Mosin Nagant on the Lynx. So that's pretty good to know. Well, we got a female that just snuck into like 14 yards in front of us here. And I think we're going to take it down. I think we can use the 420s. Dropped her. So whether or not we can use it, I don't know. But we'll find out soon. Just like that, we got another one coming in. It's only a female again. But it could have been a big male. I've seen like five females so far. But at this point, we might as well take down this female here at about 90 out. There, she's down. So let's grab this one. And double long liver, it looks like you can use the 420s on the Lynx with the bow. So that's good to know. And here's this female. Ended up getting shoulder blade right lung at 94. And she dropped. Well, look what we have here. That is not a Lynx, but it's a max weight wild boar. And a max scoring potential wild boar. I don't believe level fours could make diamond, but if it could, this guy's pretty big. So we're not going to pass this up. I want to get just a little bit closer. Then we'll bust out the 30 odd six. I think we could use the Mosin, but eh, it's a little bit too risky, especially with this fog. So we're looking at about 270, 275 right there. I feel pretty confident. This should be the 30 odd six. It is. Now we just got to wait for this fog to kind of clear a little bit so we can see through it. Because, yeah, that's uh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> That is definitely not going to happen. Come on, fog. Disappear. Right there. Help for the top of the lung for about 260. And I guess we'll have to go over and go see. But right there lays what we're looking for. And that is our big wild boar. Okay. What I just realized was we had the light on and I think that might have been why we couldn't see through it very well. Thing is, we do have to have our light on at sometimes, you know, like right now, so you can see uh, the animal. But when we're about to take the shot, I think we should probably turn the light off. But here he is and a 138 gold double lunged him at 260 with a 30 odd six. Just a smoke shot on him. Ooh, 144 is diamond. So he was definitely up there. That's our biggest wild boar that we've gotten in a long time. And I think we'll get him mounted. I really do. Well, we finally got eyes on our first male lynx. It's not a giant, but it potentially could make gold as well. It's a pretty decent sized weight. And yeah, like I said, it's our first male. So I'm pretty excited actually. But I think we're gonna get ready on this lynx here. He's about 80 yards out coming right towards us. So let's get out the Mosin. And we'll hold for... Oh. Hold on. Hold on. We got more company coming in here, guys. Maybe we'll just take down this Lynx with the bow if he comes close enough. Depending on... What is going on with this one over here. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know. So yeah, he's just sitting out there at about 70. I suppose we could try for that shot. Nice! We got a hit. We got a solid hit into him. Oh man, look at him go. It looks like a good hit. Oh, it was a good hit. A real good hit. And he's going down. About 70 yards out. He should pile up right there. Tell you what, she is close. Really close. So we might just take her down with the bow too. Because she's right there. Yeah, that'll drop her. 
Still have yet to see this male. The thing is though, the wind is blowing right that direction. So there's a chance that it smelled us. So I'm probably gonna go over there and go check the tracks in a little bit. But for now, we're gonna hop down here and grab these two links. We'll grab this female right away. And double long turn at 17 and she actually scores 17.9. So that's kind of kind of cool there. And let's go over here and see how we did on this lynx. It was a five medium, but it potentially could be a gold. Uh, no, it was a flesh. So we drop low, but 22.8 would have only been a silver anyway, so that's okay. All right, I've got tracks here, and this looks like it should be from the lynx. Ooh, it's actually a decent track. It's a real decent track. So that could be from a level six. All right, he should be cutting across this opening here. There he is, there he is! Come on. Shot looked good. Oh, perfect shot on the run. That should be a goal potential links right there. Our first one. And he is a gold, 23.8. We ended up getting a right lung at 74 yards out on the run. A very nice shot there. And our first gold, Lynx. Oh my God. I came over here because I saw a sem very hard. And I thought, okay, I really want to try and get that. And I saw Lynx over here and I just spotted it. I don't even know what to say at this point, but that's a nine legendary dime potential Lynx. <laughs> wow. All right, well, that kind of changes the plans here. <laughs> so guess what, guys? Guess what we're gonna try and do? Well, guess what we're going to do? We're gonna sneak over there, get in the edge of that grass, call up this giant dime potential Lynx and take him down with the bow. Oh, we got stacks of links coming in here. Not what we're looking for, but that's a good sign. That is a good sign. Oh God, there he is. He's 170 yards away, guys. Look at how slow this thing is coming in. He is just taking his time. Wow. He's 160 yards away right there, guys. 160 yards away. We got these links coming in here. We got a perfect wind set up. Just got to get this Lynx to keep coming. He's being so stubborn. He doesn't hardly want to come. Okay, guys, it actually looks like he might be leaving. And if he is leaving, then we're going to have to take him down with the Mosin because I am not going to risk losing this nine legendary Lynx. Okay, he stopped. And he turned. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in again. No way. Oh, he's 140 out. So close, but yet so far. All right, guys, I think we're gonna go for it. We went for it and he's down. <laughs> I couldn't wait any longer. I could not wait any longer. Well, here he is down. It's definitely going to be our biggest Lynx ever, but he's going to score. Oh my God, he's a diamond. A 27.9 diamond Lynx. 123 yards away. This is one of the rarest diamonds that you can probably get up there with the Jackal. I really wanted to get him with the bow but he was not coming in. It took so long, but I am so happy to be able to have ourselves our first ever diamond Lynx. And we caught him with the Mosin Nagant at 123 yards out. That hunt right there, just the nine legendary alone took one hour to be able to get a shot on this thing. And we had to take him at 123 yards, but a 27.9 diamond Lynx. There we go, if we can cross that one off our list. And you can see just how much power the Mosin Nagant does have on the Lynx. We hit the shoulder blade and left lung, but I bet if we hit that with the 223, it probably would have said flesh. Really good penetration, and I can't believe we have ourselves a diamond Lynx. He weighed 92.91 pounds. 
Okay, so here's the important part. You guys probably want to know where we found him and how we found him and basically what strategy we used to get this links. I hear some more links. First off, apparently this little lake here is absolutely loaded with links. Because honestly, I hunted up here. I was just on multiplayer. Uh, we took down that one female with the bow, which was uh, I think like over here or something like that. And then we took down some over here. Anyways, I couldn't find a single male lynx on my map today. And I thought because of the true rack access came out, maybe the males disappeared. So the way that I did that is I started at this lodge here at the Zalvara Hill Eastern Outpost. And I jumped from lake to lake at night at 1930 is when we started. There was a female here and then there was two females here. And at this point I was starting to think, okay, they have to be broken. There's no more males left. And then I went over to this outpost here, fast traveled, and went over to this lake here and I jumped up a level 5 medium lynx and a female. So at that point I knew the males were still existing. And I went over to this spot here to look for that level 7 and sure enough over here in the corner, a level 9 legendary popped up on my screen. And I thought, there is no way we're seeing what I see right now. And I looked twice and yeah, it was a 9. And it wasn't the one that I saw last night because I did not get a shot on that one. I saw it running away and I never got a shot on that one. So it's not like the 7 came back as a 9 or something like that. But yeah, it was right here from 1930 till 2300 at night. Well guys, welcome back to our trophy lodge. And what you're going to witness here is our first ever diamond links that we've ever had in any of our trophy lodges ever. And there he is sitting right over there. But turn the light on here so you guys can see a little bit better. And it's kind of cool that you can actually hear the light turning on now. But right here is our awesome multi-mount of our melanistic and our albino grizzly bear. I'll just never get enough of that. That is so cool. But anyways, over here, we decided to put our giant diamond links that we got. That should be him, uh, I think on the left. It's really hard to tell. But honestly, 27.9 diamond links that we got. And then 18.5 female. I do believe that that's the female. And this is the male. The male's like, hey, what are you doing up there? But anyways, yeah, that is going to be him right there. I am so happy. And that is definitely an ultra rare in Call of the Wild. I mean, diamonds are rare enough. But there are certain diamonds that are super rare. And you'll hardly ever get a chance to see one. And this right here is definitely one of them. But anyways, on that note, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.